awesome um well debut right yeah. dream come true yeah. um can you sum it up just in a couple words yeah uh I'm, i've always been a fan of the spring box it's been a dream to play for the spring box i was chasing the sun uh many times and you know just being a part of what's you know a proper a special bunch of guys and management staff players and, and representing my country is just all that it's nothing better than that and and you say you're a fan and and as we all are um how does that differ when stepping into you know a professional environment yeah. and changing that you know fan mentality to you know the real business world? yeah you know as soon as you get to franchise level you sort of make that switch and and you know a lot of these guys are guys i've competed against uh within franchise rugby so uh i'm familiar with them as as uh opposition instead of you know me fan going over them um <laughs> But yeah, just making that switch, uh, you know, it's a professional environment. You know, you got to look at these guys as your colleagues, mm. um, see eye to eye with them. You know, you've got senior players here. So, you know, there's a respect element to it, but also, you know, these are your colleagues and, and, and guys you got to work with. And the biggest pinch me moment of the week? Uh, getting my jersey. Getting your jersey. Yeah, what was that? Like? A, I got, it was quite emotional for me, you know. You kind of think about how you're going to act before the time. <laughs> but when you get a Springboard jersey with your name on it, um yeah can't summarize that for you man that's that's what you literally dream of so mm-hmm. out of body come experience, true. Out of body experience amazing say. amazing and obviously running out onto the park yeah heart rate heart sky rate high now nah, it's fine fine yeah fine. These, you, you know these guys at that process at that stage yeah you know the, the surprise not surprising but the interesting thing is these guys really make you feel at home you know yeah. Uh, they they help you adapt to this environment very quickly. Mm. Um, they put in a lot of work into making sure you're comfortable and your details spot on. And you know the main goal for them is just to by the time you get on the park uh, that you know your job and you can just go out and do what Rusty says has earned you a spot in the mm. squad. Mm. You know, just mm. go do your thing. Um, and and you know that's that's what keeps the heart rate low. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, obviously, surrounded by you know, every, the Springboks are the world champions, back to back world champions that confidence um, of theirs, how much is the title of world champion spoken of or, or um, you know, coming to play when you're stepping on the field? You mentioned you're a debutant and you're surrounded by the experienced head. How much of that um, is spoken about or, or is um, even thought of amongst the camp? Yeah, you know, they, they, we label ourselves as, as champions, which we are, um, but Rossi, Coach Rossi has, you know, mentioned that that's a thing of the past and, mm. you know, it's on to the next block now and on to our next goals. It's not something we can just sort of live on for the rest of, you know, time. So um, it's a heavy jersey and it comes with a lot of weight and, and, and the whole country behind this green jersey. So uh, we are world champions um, and we've got to represent our country as, as if we were world champions. And, you know, whilst today wasn't perfect, I think we, you know, the certain certain aspects of our game showed why, why, why we're world champions. Absolutely. And... I mean, that that goal that you hit from your own post, was that your decision? Did you ask for it? I did ask for it. Uh, a good kick by me, but a, a kick uh, made by a lot of people. A lot of my kicking coach, Gareth, right at the Stormers, has helped me a lot. Uh, Tony Brown helped me in the week, you know, just getting my head right, making sure I approach the ball slowly. Small things, you know. Mm. And by the time you get onto the big stage and you solo by yourself, you know, all these things kind of you know play on your mind. And yeah. And yeah, it's just it's it's a kick by a solo guy, but it's it's a it's a hard working team behind that kick. So credit to them. Amazing. And lastly, um, you're going into the Island series now. You know, a lot of speculation and talk and almost um edging on animosity between at least the fans. How is that spoken of? Um, this new rivalry we've seen how it's played out with the Bulls now beating Leinster. Um, what is the excitement? Um, with the Island Series coming up and, and what are the conversations happening around yeah, I think, prior to that? Sorry, yeah, just getting out. Yeah, getting past this was our first, our main goal and, you know, this giving us momentum going into the Island Series. You know, it's easier to go into a week with a, with a victory instead of a loss. You know, it makes the review quicker and easier and it gets you onto your next opposition much, uh, much more rapidly. So we, you know, obviously it's, a, it's an intense rivalry between Ireland and South Africa and whoever's in that squad, you know, I, I pray that we, you know, get together as a squad and as a country and we really, you know, make ends meet and, and put our best foot forward going all the way through to 2027. Amazing, Sasha. Thanks so much. I really appreciate you joining, man. Appreciate you. Thank you very much.